So for the past few days, um, more precisely three days, I've been doing like a corporate church um, prayer and fasting. So I already did a video on this when I participated, participated in one last year. Now this year, um, well not this year, they have multiple ones in the year. But this time around, the first one in the year, it's only for three days. So with this fast, I decided to just go on liquids only. So the other fast, it was one meal um, a day, which was breakfast. This time I went for a full liquid um, <coughs> fast. It, was, it wasn't just straight up water. It was a mix of prime and leucoseed as well, just because um, I needed the electrolytes especially on the second day um and during this time as well I was working so I didn't actually book days off last time I booked um I thought it was more or less all I actually booked all the days off the fasting this year I didn't um I didn't um bother so it was a real challenge especially the second day which was yesterday um it was a real challenge just to get through like literally I had to take breaks off work I was like just to pray to God just pray to God to get me through this to get me through these symptoms that I was having I was having aches in my legs which is usually the case um I was dealing with a headache as well not like a really really bad headache it's more like a numbing headache my tummy at the time was sometimes going all icky wicky um <laughs> which it did last time basically all these symptoms basically my flesh was crying hot crying out even louder than last time because this time is sustained completely from food now this is the third day now it doesn't end until um after eight o'clock um tonight but i thought i'd share to you a testimony that's kind of happened already um so what so basically during these um prayer and fasting I've been having with the church we've been having meetings on zoom and also evening meetings so the last time we had it it was like every other day the evening meetings this time around because it's only three days we've been having the evening meetings in person um for the three days now yesterday was a very just as it was a very special moment for everyone who was involved everyone who came on that on that night because the holy spirit was alive tell me like just literally the holy spirit was alive in the room like completely alive in the room since like first walking in i could tell the holy spirit was in there anyway and that was before i even went in and before i even started i just felt like i felt the holy spirit in the room and <coughs> And that night, as I said, the Holy Spirit was heavy, like literally heavy. Like I felt the Holy Spirit come upon me and I just ha have felt that great warmth. This great warmth that I've felt, like I felt the Holy Spirit before with this great warmth, but it was so, so powerful. And I felt these tingles in my body and the time went so quick, which usually does. Um, <laughs> we only have them so in the person one in person meetings in the evening is only an hour and a half but trust me it goes so so quickly and I remember when it wrapped up I was like I don't want this to be over and I remember coming home and I came home I still felt the Holy Spirit so I still just prayed when I got home and then the next day now before coming into this prayer and fasting I was dealing with a lot of worry, just a lot of worry, like the slightest thing, the sli ever so slightest thing will get me into like complete worry mode. Like I'd worry over the slides, I'd worry about um, people I know, situations, that sort of thing. When I woke up this morning, I can't, I'm going to try and explain to you how I, f how I feel right now because I'm not very good at explaining things, but it just feels that there's just burden this burden that has just been in me has just released and has gone away I felt that the Holy Spirit when he, when the Holy Spirit came onto me that the Holy Spirit just washed away every every worry every burden this like heaviness that I felt sometimes that I feel that it's just gone and all I feel right now is just God's glory and just I feel this lightness this burden has just gone away from it from me and I just feel this lightness this happiness this pure this this it just feels just i feel light if that makes any sense i feel light in my spirit like i don't feel heavy i don't feel this heaviness on me i feel this light this lightness 
in my spirit. I don't know if that's a great way to describe it, but that's basically how I feel. I feel that this heaviness, that this heaviness that has been around me has just gone away and has just been replaced with this 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 new energy like the Holy Spirit just zapped me with this new energy. This he revived my spirit, basically he revived my spirit and taken away any kind of bondages any worries any anxieties he's just taken all that away from me he's taken all that away from me and he's just just given me this new feeling this refreshment this refreshment of my spirit and that's basically my testimony of this fast that I've been doing and I'm just forever grateful for him for answering my prayers during this time and just I just pray that he answers everyone's prayers who took part in the prayer and fasting but also every believer that every believer everything that's been crying out for the Lord to fix any situation anything like that I just pray I just pray that, that the prayers are answered that you Lord will answer their prayers that you will answer their prayers you will answer their cries you will release them from their worries you will release them from their lowness their tiredness i just pray that you give them that new life that new revival that they need in your in your spirit and i pray this in jesus's name amen and i just want to finish on this verse in isaiah in isaiah chapter 58 and it's from verse 6 and it says is this not the fast that i have chosen to loose the bonds of wickedness to undo the heavy burdens to let the oppressed go free and that you break every yoke 